Bharat account, and then mm -hmm. in credit side, 20,500. 20,500. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the general entry will be cash account debit 20,000, discount allowed account debit 500, and to Bharat account. All right. That's that's correct. Moving on to the next transaction. Receive from Vikas 35,000 by check. Allowed him a discount of 750. And I wanted to know the answer from Ritika. Ritika, tell me the correct general entry for this. Perfect. Very good. That's right. That is the correct general entry. So bank account debit, discount allowed account debit to Vikas account. That's right. Third, third uh, is received from Akhil 38,000 in settlement of his dues of 40,000 in cash. Tell me anyone. Uh, Ritik, oh, sorry, Vanisha, yeah. Vanisha, Vanisha, Vanisha. Yes, sir. Uh, cash account uh, debit, uh, mm -hmm. 38,000. Then mm -hmm. uh, discount oh. account uh, debit, mm -hmm. 2,000. Uh, mm -hmm. To Akhil, uh, mm -hmm. 40,000. Perfect. Very good. That's right. All right, then this is the correct general entry, cash account debit, discount allowed account debit to a kill account. <clears throat> Fourth transaction, received from Amrit 50,000 by check on account against dues of rupees 60,000. Tell Sir, me the bank account, mm -hmm. bank account debited to Amrit's mm -hmm. account. Bank account debit to Amrit's account, right? And the amount is? 50,000. Sorry, 50 or 60? 50,000 or 60,000? This, oh, sorry, sir. 60,000. I saw another question. I saw this one. 50,000, 60, right? 000. Bank account debit to Amrit account. Sir. Oh. Mm -hmm. No, but, sir, I'm right only. You know, it will be 50,000 because the check is. No, 50,000 is by check. Mm -hmm. 50,000. <laughs> Yeah, that's so right. That is perfect. Only, right? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and the next Sorry. next entry. Paid really? cash 40,000 40, to Suresh, available discount of 2%. Tell me, Vanisha, tell me the general entry for the fifth transaction. For the fifth one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Suresh account. Uh, mm -hmm. debit mm -hmm. uh, to cash account. Mm -hmm. Suresh account debit to cash account. That's right. And yes, sir, the cost uh, the money will be mm -hmm. thirty nine thousand two hundred. Thirty nine thousand two hundred. Okay. This is it. Anything you want to add in it? Okay. See, see, this is not the correct general entry. Paid cash rupees 40,000 to Suresh, available discount of 2%. That means the general entry for this will be uh, Suresh account will be debited by 40,000 to cash account 39,200 and to discount received account. Let me show you how we will be doing the general entry for this. Just a moment. See, in this transaction, what is happening? Firstly, uh, we are paying Suresh a cash. Suresh is being paid in cash. So Suresh, uh, so cash will reduce by 40,000, number one. Secondly, uh, we have, uh, uh, Suresh have given us a discount of 2%. That's so a discount. Discount, discount, this is discount received. This is not discount okay, allowed. Yeah. We so have received a discount. Debited? Do cash account to receive the, the discount received account. Yes. So discount is received on 40,000 of uh, basically the payment that we need to make. So 800 the is the discount. Would be 800. 800, right. So 39,200 will be paid in cash. Discount received is 800. And Suresh account, 
will be sir both on the credit side yes <coughs> suresh is our suresh is our creditor right suresh is yeah. our creditor so our creditor is reducing when we pay suresh 39 sorry uh, uh, 39200 our, our creditor will reduce by 40000 creditors will reduce by 40000 so the general entry will be suresh account will be debited suresh account debit by 40000 however we need to pay cash of rupees 39200 only therefore we will credit cash account by 39200 why because suresh have given us a discount as well discount received account will be credited as well by what amount by 800 this will be the correct general entry for this transaction tell me if anybody is not able to understood this discount is a kind of revenue revenue is increasing therefore we have credited discount received account cash is reducing by Thirty-nine thousand two hundred. Therefore, we have credited cash account. Suresh is our creditor, and creditor is reducing. Whenever creditor reduces, we need to debit the creditor account. I hope the general entry is clear, everyone. <coughs> Moving on to the yes, next transaction. Next is six paid by check twenty-five thousand to Meher and settled her dues of rupees twenty-six thousand. And I want to, Rik Ratika to to answer this. So Meher account debit uh, to bank account to discount receipt account. Uh, Meher account debit uh, cash is twenty five thousand. Bank account. Uh, mm hmm. Meher account will be debited. Sorry, Meher account will be debited by what amount? Twenty five thousand. No, bank will reduce by twenty five thousand, but Meher account will be debited by twenty six thousand. Again, this is this so is related to debtors. Meher account, a Meher account mm -hmm. debited to cash account to discount receives account. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Not cash account. We are paying it through check. So bank account will be debited, na? We have paid paid by check. So bank account will be credited. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Everybody sir, is this so clear? Yes the... or no? See. Yes, yeah, sir. In see, this, see. all these type of inquiry. Okay. Yeah, just a minute. See. Firstly, question is saying that we are paying Meher. How much is due towards Meher? Total amount due towards Meher is twenty six thousand, right? But Meher. Allowed us a discount. We have received a discount of rupees one thousand. Discount received from Meher is one thousand, and therefore we just need to pay twenty five thousand. And we have decided to make the payment through check. That means our bank balance will reduce. So bank will reduce. Discount received as a kind of earning. It is a revenue. Revenue will increase. And Meher is what? Meher is our creditor, right? So creditor, when we make payment to creditor. Creditor will reduce, but creditor will reduce by what amount? Creditor will reduce by twenty six thousand. Twenty six thousand. So the correct general entry for this will be Meher account. Since Meher is a liability, it is a creditor. So Meher account will be debited by twenty six thousand to to bank account because bank is reducing by twenty five thousand, and at the same time we have received a discount. The so discount received account will also be credited by one thousand. Totaling the credit side, we will it will be equal to the debit side twenty six thousand and twenty six thousand. I hope this is clear, everybody. <clears throat> Got it, all of you, Pratika, Anisha, and Libby. Yes, sir. Okay. Moving on to the next transaction, seventh paid twenty five thousand to Yogesh by check. On account, tell me. So I will tell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, it would be. <laughs> it would be Yogesh mm -hmm. account debited mm -hmm. to bank account. Mm -hmm. Yes, Yogesh account debited to bank account. That's right. Perfect. Okay. 
डिस्काउंट see whenever the uh, nothing is mentioned in the question and we have got a discount at the time of purchase this is always treated as a trade discount this is always treated as a trade discount when we have got a discount at the time of purchase of good this is always treated as trade discount unless and otherwise mentioned in the question so if it is given in the question that we have got a 3% discount that will be considered as a trade discount and there is no general entry required for the trade discount right there will be no general entry required for the trade discount so the correct general entry for this will be it, it cannot be purchase account debit to bank account to discount received account however in this case the general entry will be purchase account will be debited undoubtedly purchase account will be debited Purchase account, sorry. Purchase account debit to bank account. This will be the correct general entry, and the amount will be since we have bought a bought a good of rupees one lakh at a discount of three percent. That means only ninety seven thousand we have paid to bank. So ninety seven thousand will be credited to bank account, and purchase account will be debited by ninety seven thousand. This is the correct general entry. Got it? Yes. So, yeah. Sir, I have a doubt, sir. Mm -hmm. So, okay. how can we identify whether it is a trade discount or a, like a discount received? Yeah, yeah. That, that see, that is what I was explaining. Whenever we have got a discount at the time of purchase, at the time of purchase, that is considered as the trade discount. All right. Or whenever we have given a given a discount at the time of sale to our customer, that is considered as a trade discount as well. So, discount given at the time of purchase or sale is a trade discount. However, discount given at the time of payment or receipt of money from the creditor or debtor will be taken as a discount received or discount allowed, and that is considered as an as a part of revenue or expenditure. If we have received a discount at the time of payment, it is a revenue for us. Then such discount will be credited. And if we have given a discount at the time of uh, uh, collecting the payment, then that will be considered as a loss. That will be journalized. But the 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 discount that we have received at the time of purchase or sale is considered as trade discount unless otherwise given in the question. I hope this is clear to you. Yes, sir. <clears throat> All right. Moving back to the question. Question number nine. Purchase goods costing sixty thousand from Akash and Company. Paid fifty percent immediately. Availed three. Availing three percent discount. Labiba, please tell me the correct general entry for this. Yes, sir. For the eighth one. उंट ओके Let me explain this. Just a minute. So this one is very complicated. I got the answer after doing many things. 
Hmm. All right. Let me explain. See what is happening in the question is that firstly, question is saying that we have purchased goods from Akash and company. So purchase goods from Akash, right? But at the same time. Company have made the payment to Akash as well. How much payment have been made? The payment have been made up to fifty percent. Like like the goods have been bought for rupees sixty thousand, right? And the fifty percent of the payment have been made in cash. That is thirty thousand. And since we have we were paying the fifty percent of the payment in cash. So the other party have allowed us a discount of three percent. This three percent discount is not on the purchase of goods. This three percent discount that we have been allowed is at the time of purchase payment of the payment of the uh, amount. Fifty percent that we have we have decided to pay immediately on that amount. We have been granted a three percent discount. That means ultimately we need to pay only. uh 3% discount on 33000 will be how much discount will be 900 3% of 30000 will be 900 only uh 29100 will be paid in cash got it 29100 will be paid in cash and for the remain and the remaining 50% is not paid immediately now see if we have bought goods of 60000 and we have decided to make the payment of 50% and since we have decided to make the payment in 50 of the 50% amount due therefore we have got a discount of 900 so eventually we need to pay only 29100 all right so 30000 is settled 30000 is settled the question is what about the remaining 30000 so remaining 30000 is, is is still due towards akash this is still due this is still due so for the remaining amount akash will be considered as our debtor for the remaining amount of 30000 akash will be considered as our debtor so in this transaction what is happening firstly since we are buying goods purchasing goods so our expenses are increasing purchase account will be debited purchase account will be debited why because we have bought goods of 60000 so purchase account will be debited by what amount 60000 number 1 number 2 Our debtors are also increasing, na? Debtors are, sorry, not the debtor. I'm really sorry. That not debtor, creditor. I'm sorry. Our creditors will also increase by what amount? By thirty thousand. So what happens whenever creditor increases? What do we do? We credit the creditor account. So Akash account will be credited. Akash account will be credited by what amount? By thirty thousand. Number two. Number three, since we have made the payment in cash of twenty one thousand one hundred, twenty nine thousand one hundred, so cash account will be will also be reduced. So therefore, cash account will be credited as well, right? Now, what about some discount received? Discount. This is uh, the the discount that we have received. This is not a trade discount. That this discount is being received because we are making the fifty percent payment payment immediately. So this is the discount received on the payment of the. Fifty percent of the amount, so that will be considered as the cash discount. Cash discount is treated is generalized. So discount received is obviously it is a kind of gain. So discount received will be will be credited. All right. I hope this is clear to all of you. Now we will pass. We can pass the general entry. General entry will be C. Pay attention. Try to understand. We will first of all debit the purchase account. Purchase account debit. By what amount? By sixty thousand. Then what about Akash? Akash account. Akash account will be credited. Akash account credited. Why we are crediting Akash account? Because Akash is our creditor. We haven't. We are yet to pay thirty thousand to Akash. So therefore, our creditor is uh, are increasing. Therefore, we have credited Akash account. Cash account will be credited as well. Why? Why? Because cash is an asset, and asset is reducing. When we make the payment, so asset will reduce by only twenty nine thousand one hundred. Why? Because we have got a discount of nine hundred. Otherwise, cash account would have been reduced by thirty thousand only. Thankfully, we have we have got a discount, 
so discount received account will be credited as well 900 now make sure the credit side credit credit aspect of the general entry and the debit aspect of the general entry both should be equal so totaling this you will get 60000 and totaling the debit side debit aspect this is also 60000 that means we did the general entry correctly i hope this is clear everyone just tell me if it is clear or not It's clear. Yes, Anisha is okay. <clears throat> Labiba, is this clear to you as well now? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Now, now the uh, tenth item: sold goods of rupees thirty thousand against the check, allowing allowing a two percent discount. Now, this one is easy. I'm sure everybody will be able to solve it. Ratika, could you please tell me the correct general entry for this? Sir, a uh, bank account debit to sales account. Yes, bank account debit to sales account. No entry for the discount will be done in this case as well because we have given a discount at the time of sale. So we will treat it as a trade discount only. Good, 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 good. good. All right. Now moving on to the last transaction. This one is very similar to the ninth one. Sold goods of rupees 60,000 to Vimal received 50 percent of the due amount allowing two percent discount so this one is pretty similar to the previous one and i want vanisha to tell me the correct generality for this vanisha could you please tell me the correct generality for this if you have any problem let me know otherwise tell me the correct general entry for this Okay, let me sir, explain this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Check. Sir, it will be Vimal account uh, debit to sales account uh, mm -hmm. credit to mm -hmm. cash account uh, to uh, discount account. Cash account will be credited. Cash account, how cash account can be credited? Because see, we are receiving that we are receiving cash now. So cash must have increased now. How can you credit cash account? Cash account need to be debited. Anyways, let me let me explain this once, and I want you to tell me the correct general entry afterwards. See, first of all, in this question, what is happening? We have sold goods. So sales of sale of goods by what of what amount we have sold goods of rupees uh, 30,000 30,000 right and out of this 30,000 we have sold goods to whom we have sold goods to Vimal 60,000 uh, instead of 30,000 60,000 it was sorry we have sold goods to Vimal and he is also making payment in cash and because he is making payment in cash we have given him a discount as well all right so see firstly 60000 of the goods have been sold to vimal so the total amount due upon vimal is 60000 since we have sold vimal 60000 of goods so vimal is our debtor vimal is a debtor so debtor increases by 60000 but vimal have decided to make the 50% payment immediately so 30,000, he have decided to make the payment of 30,000 immediately. So only 30,000 is still due upon women, right? And since he have decided to make the 50% payment in cash, therefore we have allowed him a discount of 2%. So instead of 30,000, we have given him a discount of 600. And therefore he will only have to pay 29,400 as cash payment, right? So here, in this transaction, what is happening? Firstly, sales are increasing. Sales are what? Sales are revenue. Revenue are increasing. And whenever revenue increases, what do you do? We, Whenever revenue increases, we need to credit the revenue account. That means sales account will be credited, number one. Number two, in this transaction, debtors are increasing by 30,000. Debtors are what? Debtors are assets, right? Whenever asset increases, what do we do? We debit the asset account. So that means Vimal account will be debited. Now, what is cash? Cash is again, cash is an asset. And asset is what? Asset is increasing. 
whenever asset increases what do we do we debit the asset account discount this is what discount allowed or discount received this is allowed discount allowed discount allowed is what it is an it is a kind of it is a kind of loss right it is a kind of loss and loss is increasing whenever loss increases what do we do we debit the loss account all right everybody so the correct general entry for this will be tell me anyone now uh, vanisha could you please try yes, one sir. more time yeah so uh, vimal account uh, debit to uh, cash account debit no 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 vimal account, account debit vimal account debit not to vimal account debit oh, cash sorry, account sorry. debit discount debit uh -huh. account uh, debit uh, mm -hmm. to sales, uh, sales account yes that's right perfect very good this is the correct general entry vimal account debit cash account debit discount allowed account debit to cash account amount will be 30294006 and 60000 i hope this is clear everybody labiba manisha ratika okay. all right so this was all about the homework question the question page one i will get a little bit confused but uh, i got the answer somehow like i understand it but it is complicated Oh, you you still feel it is complicated? No, it's like okay, I can do it. I can get the answer, but you know, you need a lot of attention for that. A little mistake, <laughs> you need to make your whole oh, answer. All right, that, that that is not a problem. You will overcome this problem as much as you will practice. So this will this problem will be resolved will be resolved. Ah, uh, depending upon the number of question you do. All right, so this is not a major issue. since we you okay, are doing sir. these quite these type of question for the very first time so you will definitely have some problem solving this question so that that is perfectly okay that is perfectly normal all right i'm moving to the next question we'll talk about this question all right i want all, all of you first of all to take the screenshot i want you to take the screenshot of the question okay so the uh, five transactions are given here and considering the, these transaction we need to pass the general entry so the first transaction says sham became insolvent sham is who sham is one of our debtor right sham is one of our debtor who goes insolvent insolvent means he is out of cash he does he does not have sufficient amount available to pay back the amount due so sham became insolvent a first and final compensation of 75 paisa in a rupee was received from his official receiver he owed us 10000 so the total amount due upon sham is 10000 but his official receiver official receiver is the person appointed by court to settle the account of sham right see whenever any person get insolvent court appoint one person to settle his accounts to pay off his obligations so official receiver who has been appointed he is saying that he will be able to pay only 75 paisa in a rupee that means he will be able to pay only 75% of the amount due this statement can be interpreted as 75 paisa in a rupee means 75% of the total amount due can only be repaid by sham not more than this because because he do not have sufficient amount of cash available so listen to me very carefully total amount due let me explain this see total amount due on sham was how much it was 10000 right 10000 but since he goes insolvent because he is insolvent therefore can only pay can only pay 75 paisa in a rupee that means 75% of the due amount of the due amount that means only 7500 can be repaid by him sir the question arises what about the remaining amount 
what about the remaining amount the remaining amount of 2500 cannot be recovered from the debtor shyam is who shyam is our debtor right and debtor is saying that i won't be able to pay you more than 7500 since i i am already out of cash so the question arises what about the 7500 so guys 7500 will be considered as a loss this is a loss and this loss is known as bad debt bad debts that means debtor which is not recoverable which cannot be recovered is considered as the bad debt the amount of debtor and the proportion of the debtor which is not recoverable which cannot be reclaimed or repaid that is considered as the bad debt bad debts so bad debt in this case is a loss right you have to keep that in mind bad debt is a kind of loss so under this transaction what is happening we are we are receiving 7500 right our loss are increasing by 2500 and at the same time debtor has reduced by 10000 debtor will reduce by 10000 we will receive a balance of 70, we will receive a cash in cash uh, of 7500 and 2500 will be considered as our loss bad debt so this this the first general entry first transaction will be generalized as c everybody please note this down just a minute please pass the general entry as solution first general entry will be firstly we will only be able to receive cash of how much cash account will be debited by Seventy-five hundred, right? And we have a loss of how much? We have a loss of twenty-five hundred. Loss are to be debited. Expenses and losses are uh, expenses and losses should be debited, right? So bad debt is a kind of loss. Therefore, we will debit the bad debt account. Bad debt account debit by what amount? By twenty-five hundred. Two, two. to debtors account who who was our debtor debtor was shyam shyam was our debtor so we will credit the shyam account shyam account why we are crediting shyam account because shyam is our debtor and debtor is debtor has reduced by 10000 so 10000 and we will write it as being amount received from debtor <clears throat> what is everybody is this clear to all of you yes or no everybody clear Yes, sir. Okay, that's good. Moving on to the next transaction. Next is received cash for bad debt written off last year. So earlier we have written off a bad debt of five thousand. Earlier we have considered one of our debtor as the bad debt and written off written it off. Five thousand written it off previously. Now the same bad debt has been recovered. Now the same has been recovered. So the correct general entry for this will be what? See, let me help you. Uh, firstly, see previous in the previous year. Let, let's assume previous year was two thousand twenty one, twenty two. And currently, it is two thousand twenty-two and twenty-three. So, in the previous year, what happened? One of our debtor did not made the payment of five thousand. So, when debtor did not made the payment of five thousand, we have considered it as a bad debt, right? And we have written we have written it off. That means we have transferred. it to the profit and loss account considering at it as a loss we have treated it as a loss earlier but by chance 
in next year in the next year that means in the current year that that same person have given us he have paid back 5000 the the amount that we have considered as a loss previously treated that amount as a loss the same amount has been recovered so amount because we are receiving the amount this year so that simply means that cash is increasing cash must have increased by 5000 right and just like because because bad debt was a loss right so therefore bad debt recovered bad debt which is recovered is what bad debt recovered is a loss or a gain tell me bad debt recovered is a loss or a gain tell gain correct bad debt recovered is a bad debt recovered is a gain so now pay attention try to understand if in the year 2022-23 we have received a received rupees 5000 against the bad debt recover against the bad debt that means cash is increasing therefore we need to we should debit the cash account is that correct and one of our one of our revenue is increasing by the name of bad debt recovered whenever gain increases whenever there is a gain we need to credit the gain account is that correct so the general entry for this will be guys general entry for this will be cash account debit to bad debt recovered account is that correct cash account will be debited by 5000 to bad debts recovered is that clear yes or no yes so could you explain it again you want me to explain it again yes sir okay just turn it See, question was saying that we have received 5,000 as the, uh, from the amount that we have treated as bad debt earlier. So in the previous year, we have treated 5,000 as unrecoverable. We thought that this cannot, this, the, the, the 5,000, the debtor won't be, won't be paying 5,000. So since debtor have denied earlier, the debtors have denied making payment of 5,000. Therefore, we have treated this 5,000 as the bad debts. We thought that, that this cannot be recovered. So in the previous year, we have treated it as a bad debt. And treated it as a bad debt means that we have considered it as a loss and we must have transferred to the PL profit and loss account. We have considered it as a loss earlier. But the same amount in the current year, current year is paid back by the debtor. The same amount is paid back, paid by the debtor. So the, the amount that we have considered as a loss, same amount is, is, uh, same amount is recovered. So the amount that was previously treated as a bad debt, now when we are able to recover it, that will be considered as a bad debt recovery. Bad debt recovery, that is bad debt recovered, yes or no? We should consider it, it yes. as a bad debt recovered, yes. And bad debt recovered of by what, what amount? 5,000, bad debt recovered by 5,000. The question arises, when, when this bad debt recovered, cash, cash will increase or decrease? Cash balance will increase by 5,000, is that correct? Same time, just like bad debt is a loss, therefore bad debt recovered is a gain. So can we say that our gain is increasing and at the same time our cash is also increasing? Can we say that yes or no? Yes, sir. And if gain increases, what do we do? We need to credit the gain account. In this case, gain account is the bad debt recovered account. So therefore bad debt recovered account will be debit credited. And since cash is increasing, cash is an asset, therefore we will debit the cash account. Cash account debit to bad debt recovered account. This will be the correct general entry. I hope this point is clear. Now? Yes, sir. All right. 
Okay, moving on to the third transaction. Third transaction says, third transaction says, rent due to landlord. Rent is due to landlord. Rent is what? Tell me. Rent is what? Rent is a revenue, say, a revenue expense, capital asset, liability, what it is. Expense. expense, correct. Rent is an expense. So our expenses are, we have an outstanding expense. Rent, which is not yet paid to the landlord, is considered as the outstanding rent. Right? Outstanding rent means rent is yet to be paid. So the general end, because see under this transaction, what is happening now? Firstly, because rent is an expense, our expenses are increasing. But since we haven't paid the amount to, to our landlord, at the same time, this rent became a liability upon us. Because this rent is not your discharge, therefore this rent will become the liability. Liability by by what name? It will be a liability as rent outstanding. Rent outstanding. It will be considered as a liability. Rent outstanding is a liability. So firstly, because rent is an expense and expenses are rising, therefore we will debit the we will debit the expense account. That means rent account will be debited. And at the same time, liability is also increasing. Rent outstanding is a liability which is increasing. Because we haven't discharged our obligation, rent which is due was not cleared by the by, by the business. Therefore, it becomes a becomes a liability upon the business that is considered as a liability, and therefore it will be uh, see what is happening. Liability is increasing, so we will credit the liability account. So the general entry for this will be anyone? Please tell me the correct general entry for this. Rent account, debit to rent account. Correct. Rent account debit to outstanding rent account or rent outstanding account. Outstanding rent or rent outstanding. You can write either way. Right? And obviously the amount will be 8,000. 8,000. Debit 8,000 credit. We'll write it as being rent is due. All right, everyone. Is it clear? Yes or no? Anybody having any doubt, they can ask me. Otherwise, we'll move to the next transaction. Doubts? Ritika, Vanisha, Ladipa, any doubts? No, sir. No. All right. Then moving on to the next transaction. Salary due to clerk. This one is pretty similar to the previous one. Anyone please tell me the correct general entry for this. Vanisha, you want to try? Salary due to clerks. So salary account debit to outstanding salary account. Yes, that's correct. That is the correct channel. Very good. Salary account debit to outstanding salary account, 10,000. <clears throat> Please note this down. Please pass the general entry. Salary account debit to salary outstanding account or outstanding salary account. <clears throat> next next general uh, next transaction is fifth uh, it says that placed an order with rakesh we have placed an order with rakesh for the supply of goods of the list price of rupees 1 lakh in this connection raman has paid 10% of the list price as an advance by check so total goods that 
we want to purchase from rakesh is of rupees 1 lakh right but in this connection only 10% of the amount has been paid that too as an advance and through check check right the amount has been paid by way of check number 1 and the amount that was paid that is an advance payment we haven't bought goods is it clear we are not buying anything we have made the payment in advance and only 10% of the amount uh, uh, amount of the goods that you want to purchase so firstly because we have made the payment of rupees 10% only sorry uh, payment of 10% only out of 1 lakh so the general, there will be no general entry for for this information this information is not at all useful for us other than this important when paid 10% of the advance by advance payment is always an asset for you whenever we make the payment on advance basis advance payment is an asset advance payment is asset an advance collection is a liability number 1 so we, since we are making the payment on advance basis advance payment to rakesh right and since we have made the payment through check so that means this will affect our bank as well bank is what bank is also an asset so when you will make the payment through check your bank will reduce but whenever you will make the payment on advance basis your asset will increase advance by the by the name of advance payment to rakesh mohan and the correct general entry for this any anybody could anyone please tell me the correct general entry for this or do i need to explain it more so could you explain it once again yeah see see what what does this question says this says that let's suppose we want to buy goods from some person goods from rakesh mohan right you want to buy goods from rakesh mohan of what of how much amount of we want to buy goods of rupees 1 lakh we want to buy this much goods but the thing is that we have we made the payment on advance basis advance payment was made by made for rupees 10 made of 10% of the amount of good that we want to buy advance payment made 10% that means 10000 have been paid to rakesh mohan right and we haven't bought the goods yet we just made the payment since we have made the payment how does it how is it going to affect the business firstly since we have made the payment through check so that will lead to reduction in the bank balance right bank will reduce bank will reduce by what amount 10000 and because we have made the payment to rakesh and rakesh haven't yet sold the goods yet so rakesh will become our debtor rakesh will become our debtor since the advance payment was made to rakesh and rakesh haven't yet given the goods to us that means rakesh is our debtor so in this transaction debtor is increasing debtor is increasing number 1 number 2 bank is reducing so the general entry in this case will be firstly because payment have been made to rakesh in advance and rakesh will be considered as a debtor right so the general entry for this will be advance to rakesh mohan account debit to bank account right and the amount will be 10000 and 10000 this is it nothing more bank account will be debited sorry advance to cash as advance to rakesh one account will be debited by because rakesh mohan will be considered as our debtor since we have amount due upon rakesh 10000 is the amount that we have paid in advance and advance payment is always considered as an asset 
so therefore asset are increasing therefore we have debited the rakesh mohan account and credited bank account what it is it is this clear yes or no yes sir, yes, sir. <clears throat> please note this down quickly done everyone yes sir okay all right so all right guys so uh, this is the next question and since we are already out of time so i want you to take the take the screenshot of this question please take the screenshot of this question i want i'm giving you this as homework this is the homework question take the screenshot done all of you yes sir this 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 uh, this question is little much little uh, little bit difficult as compared to the question that we just did but i still want you to try this question you will definitely feel uh, or have some problem solving solving this question you will have some difficulty passing the general entry for all the transaction given here but i still want you to try this we will be discussing your doubts in the next class apart from this question let me check if i have any other question that i can give you as homework as well uh okay take the screenshot of this one as well this question as well this is also your homework done all of you yes sir okay. all right so this is it uh varisha ratika and labiba this is it for today's session we'll discuss few more question based on the journal in the next class apart from the homework question right and uh, this will take one one or two more lectures since the journal entry is a lengthy lengthy chapter so it is going to take a lot of time maybe two or three lectures more anyway so this is it for today's class we'll see you in the next session till then take care goodbye and that's it sir all of these are very complicated yeah yeah uh, as as in uh, as we move further the level of the question Uh, get difficult you will obviously have some problems solving the question but anyway since you are doing the chapter for the very first time and as as much as you will practice these you will have uh, expertise on these question you won't be having any problem solving this question just at the beginning since you are doing this chapter for the first time and you are passing you are learning to pass the general entry for the very first time therefore you are you are having difficulty as you will practice more this problem will be resolved yes sir everything is fine but the thing is that you have to remember <laughs> lots of ro- rules for this journal like if you just no the- no, no, lo- yeah. no there are there are no lots of rules there are only th- three rules that you need to keep keep in mind all the time that whenever uh, the asset are increasing you need to debit it Yeah, and yeah, you, need, you just need to remember the traditional, traditional accounting rule. As per the traditional accounting rule, all the rule you have to remember. What so do we need also? to do in case of personal account, real account, and nominal account? That is it. Sorry. Sir, we have. Sorry, Lobby. Could you please repeat? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sir. It will be doing we have the ledger, but that will be after the journal, after after completing the chapter only. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, s